Today we have two setups here, one on the 20 minute time frame, but we have a nested slider top. You can find this slider relatively easy. Okay, that's the top of the fractal, that's the bottom. The other setup is this one here on the 30 minute time frame. That's um, the top also. And you have the top here. And you have the bottom here. Okay. Uh, the other time frames. Oh, we had it. Terrific uh, midnight turn. Uh, I do mention that quite a bit. Uh, generally, around midnight, you'll have a turn either up or down. I was up, but uh, at midnight, it did go up. How far? We don't know until the fractal clears. But on the 30 minute time frame and the 20 minute time frame, we have a uh, possibility that we're going to have a decline here to me. So, what we're going to do, we're going to say we're going down here. Okay, you short, uh, you short, put a buy stop top uh, times two up here in case it goes back up again. But the evidence is showing a decline here today, particularly on the 30 minute time frame. In the uh, 20 minute time frame, although uh, it is a nested uh, fractal, I would, uh, I would rather I like to see that as a uh, standalone fractal, but uh, we'll see how this works here. So, today, uh, 20 minutes, you know, the 30 minute time frame, uh, the slider, um, I think will fail here if we. Go below, oh, maybe 73 here. Uh, that would probably be a good entry point. You need a good confirmation um, to go short. But again, uh, put a buy stop up here in case the market goes back up again. Uh, you're not risking that much here. Um, you probably want to concentrate on this one here. Okay, um, 76. We'll, we'll uh, keep track of the fractal as we go along today. Hank Nikki, signing off.